My name is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar looking at audio repair inside Adobe Audition CS6. In this excerpt, I show you how to remove noise from a clip. This is a good example. If we listen to it... Absolutely, and we've got... Um, set this back to zero again. Um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. First, pull that down just a little bit. There we go. So I've got the talking going on here. Absolutely, and we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. Now, there's two ways we can get rid of this. One is in real time in the timeline, and the other is permanently in the waveform editor. Listen to this effect. Here's how it works. You select the, the track. Notice that as I click on the track, light gray indicates the track is selected. Dark gray says it is not. So you click on the track that you want to apply the filter to and highlight it. With it highlighted, go over to the effects rack. That's where all of your filters are applied. Click the right pointing arrow, go to noise reduction, and select adaptive noise reduction. Let's try this. We have a couple settings. We can do light noise reduction or heavy noise reduction. The D reverb I haven't played with, but it's not used for noise reduction, so we're going to skip that for today. Let's set it to heavy and do a dramatic thing. I don't change any of these settings. I just leave it in there. This is real time, and I hit the space bar. Absolutely, and we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. Is that not cool? Listen to how the noise just fades away, and all of a sudden the voice has come to the front. Absolutely, and we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. <laughs> now, the power of this is it can be applied in, to the track. In real time, it executes, and you can decide if you like it, and if you like it, keep it, and if you don't, you don't. You can go to a light reduction, hear the difference. Absolutely, and we've got, um, we've got two maxims. In it doesn't take as much of the background noise out. Well, a couple of other things to point out. Notice that the background here is red. This means that to get the highest quality out of this filter, we have to render. Many filters don't require any rendering at all, but this one's doing some heavy lifting on the part of the processor. How do we render? We click this lightning bolt down here. Notice it's gone blue. Changes this to blue. This is called the pre-render command. Rendering inside Audition happens in the background. So if I turn pre-render on, audio renders unbelievably fast when compared to video. So you just turn this on, it automatically renders it, you'll be able to hear it the highest quality. Audition will automatically render when you're getting ready to export. So the rendering happens during export. But if you're wanting to hear exactly what it's going to sound like, turn on that render command. The render command is only useful when the background of the filter goes red. The problem I've got with this effect, though, Absolutely. is that I hear the noise and then the noise fades away. What happens if I don't want to hear the noise at all? I don't want that fade away to occur. Well, in a minute, I'm going to show you another thing that we can do that will take noise away once we move to the waveform editor. There is a built-in noise reduction tool that's much more like a traditional noise reducer. Let me show you how this works. You select the noise. Sounds like noise to me. Go up to the effects menu, go down to noise reduction, and notice that there's now two choices that weren't there before. Capture noise print and noise reduction. Capture noise print, I'm going to select that first, copies the noise from the waveform into a special kind of clipboard that we can then use to reduce the noise. Now normally I would double click to select the entire clip and reduce the noise from the entire clip. But in this particular case I'm just going to do it for a range so you can hear a, a before and after comparison. Select that part of the clip that you want to reduce the noise from. Now again notice I'm saying reduce not remove. Because we're dealing with the same frequencies affected by the noise and by the person speaking, if you try to remove the noise, you're going to end up damaging the voice of the speaker. I'm always looking for that balance of how do I get the most noise to be gone and still retain the highest quality of the speaker's voice. Once I've got the noise print selected, go to Effects, go to Noise Reduction, and Noise Reduction Process. Now here, we go with the default setting. When I play this, let's see, what do I want to do? This allows me to dial in the amount of noise reduction and how much I want to reduce it by. I leave all these settings at their default for the first time through. Click Apply and listen. 
Absolutely. And we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. First is, if you don't have two copies, you don't have it. Now, is that amazing? That's taken all the noise away and left us just with the voice. And for those of you that have worked with this inside Soundtrack Pro, this is a much higher quality result than Soundtrack was ever able to achieve. Listen to it again. Absolutely. And we've got, um, we've got two maxims in Object Matrix. First is, if you don't have two copies... Let's say this is a really, really, really loud sound. I could dial out almost all of it and then drop a sound effect back in that I've got separate control over of, say, a, a machine room or something. So I can reduce the noise using the adaptive noise reduction inside the timeline, which allows you to make adjustments. Or I can do a, a permanent cleanup here using effects, noise reduction, capture the noise print, which allows me to sample what that noise is, and then actually reduce it. You can tweak this further by going into that dialog and taking that percentage slider of noise reduction and sliding it gently left to right and hear what the differences are. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. There's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and up-to-date. Plus, members can attend all of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers both Apple and Adobe software, and we update it every week. For more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar covering audio repair inside Adobe Audition CS6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 91.